the, the thing that I always laugh about is, is I, I have this date that I'm going to retire. And that has to be before January or January 19th, 2038. And because that is when epic time runs out. So in the old Unix days, we had a signed integer, which was 32 bits long, and it runs out a number of digits on January uh, uh, 19th of 2038. And so if you have an older system that has not been updated to, to change that to 64 bits, time ends on that date. Mm-hmm. So that that's the last day that I, I I know I have to retire before that date because there's a <laughs> yeah. there's a lot of systems out there that are not going to have updated to 64 bit time. Yeah. <laughs> so it's a what you're telling us is January 19th, 2038 is the new Y2K. Is that what you're? Yes. Do you remember the Y2K <laughs> yeah, that, thing, John? <laughs> yeah. And, and you know, and and when I had Unix systems, I didn't really care too much about Y2K because because it didn't bother me, right? And I was working Unix admin and. 2000 and I didn't care because my, my systems ran great but I know a lot of the other systems had problems mm. but this this is it this is the yeah. dead this is the drop dead date if you've not updated to newer operating system newer kernel this this is it all right well it's like you said most have been updated and uh, hopefully that'll be the case as we go forward I remember you know the y2k thing was a big concern a lot of work went into it and um, it turned out to not be that big a deal after all perhaps because a lot of work went into it so uh, I think the, uh, some of the effort had already been put into correcting this problem. Hopefully it'll be a, a non-issue by the time 2038 rolls around. <laughs>